I will be sharing with you my brand new Saroyan Tun Tun Commons Tun Tak Hamun Tun Commons Tun Let's just call them the King Tuts, shall we? Are you ready? So the tuts come in both brass and in silver. These are about two and a half inches in diameter and weigh 180 grams for those of you keeping track. So most of you know, when it comes to zills, I have about zero control. Like the second these things arrive, I sew my zill elastics into them and I start playing. And what I really need to do is take a moment to like take a little video and show you how pretty they are when they first come out of the bag, because I have been using the heck out of these for a couple of months now. Uh, so they're not as pretty as they were, but they're still pretty gorgeous. So these are the King Tuts. Check out that design. I don't know. I think that this design might be the prettiest, in my opinion, in the entire Saroyan series. And you can see, even after a couple of months of very regular usage, they're still shiny. I love it. So these are a little bit smaller than some of my other favorites, like the Afghanis. Um, these are a little bit smaller, uh, but they're still fairly hefty, right? They're not heavy. None of these zills I find to be particularly heavy, but I like that these still have weight in them. My Grecians, which I also very much enjoy, my Grecians and silver are very lightweight. And so sometimes they feel like they move a little bit too fast and don't have quite the same heft that my Afghanis have. I find reasons to use all of them. Um, so then none of them ever go to waste. But what I really like is these are just a tiny bit smaller. So I find it's easier to maneuver my hands between different sounds using these zills. If you do not know, I have teeny tiny little hands and I can pretty much use all of the zills in my collection, including the gigantic Altages, which do sometimes pinch my hand just a little bit. But I find that, you know, if you have smaller hands like I do, most of these zills will work pretty well if you wear them far enough down on your fingers to give yourself the room to play. These, I really like the shape in that they're a little bit more angular. The bell of it is not quite as round, you can see here. Um, and it's fairly shallow, which um, that's not too shallow to do all of the sounds. I can still get all of my ticks and rings in there, but it's a little bit more shallow, which also I think lends to it feeling a little bit smaller in my hand, which is quite nice. I like the angularity of the edge. I find when the Zill has a nice flat edge, it makes creating edge-based sounds easier because it doesn't slide quite so much. Um, and then on the inside, you can see I've always, I've sewn my elastic so that the seam is on the outside because these are a little bit um, more shallow than some of my other zills. It could be easy for elastic on the inside that's sewn on the inside or safety pins on the inside to get in the way of some of your sounds. So I definitely sewed the elastic on the outside for these. They do not make good sunglasses or maybe they make really good sunglasses because it's really dark. So would you like to take a listen to how they sound? So let's take a listen to the basic sounds. Here we go. Yeah, I really like these zills. The ring goes on for quite some time. I love, love, love the brass. They're so in tune with each other, which is a big thing for me. Like I really, really enjoy my, when my zills are in tune. So the sounds are very, very harmonious because they have the slightly flatter edge and because they're a little bit heavier for zills of this size, I find they have a very satisfying clack. Yeah, those sort of flat edges allow the clack to be really like chompy which i really enjoy uh but it, like i said that ring just goes on and on and on and it's a nice clear clean ring with no warble if you know what i'm talking about sometimes when zills aren't 100 percent in tune you get a little like whoa 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 which 
most people don't notice, especially if you're playing with music or playing with a band or whatever, but I do a lot of acapella zil work and then just a lot of practicing in general. So for me, it's really nice when the tone is totally even and all four zils are completely in tune. So there you have it, folks. Those are your King Tuts, the Tun to Common <laughs> from Saroyan Symbols. If you like these zills, and how could you not like these zills? You can find them at sahirabellydances.com slash Saroyan Symbols. Love, 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 love all their stuff. Be sure to get on their website and check out all of the sound files they have for all their zills. It's like being in a candy store, I swear. Um, but these are super fun. If you have any questions about them, let me know. And I'm curious, what are your favorite zills at the moment? I find like I have a new different favorite every, every few months. I have one that I can't stop playing. And I would love to hear, what are you playing these days? Thanks for joining me for this Zill review. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe so I can send you fantastic belly dance goodness every single week. I appreciate you being here and I would love to hear from you. So post below what's going on in your life and what kind of Zills you are currently totally geeking out on. And if I don't have them, maybe I'll have to get them and I can do a Zill review for them as well. So I appreciate your time and I hope to dance with you soon.